Hi guys, welcome back. This saw I got from the Micromark company. It's a really, really nice saw um, for miniatures. The blade is um, pretty decent. I mean, it's like a three and a half inch blade, I believe, and it, you know, will come up and down and you can also angle it from side to side up to a 45 degree angle. However, it has a blade guard that goes up here and I'm not really reviewing this saw today. So if you want a full review, that'll be in a different video. What I want to talk about is a table slit, which is something you really, really should have if you have a table saw like this. Okay, Micromark makes one. I ordered it weeks ago when I ordered the saw and it just came in today. But during the time I was waiting for that to come in, I was impatient and decided to make my own. So I want to show you something. A lot of you have probably seen it in the videos I've done. This is the one that I made, okay? It has, well, one of the ones I've made. It has a saw line in the middle. And then this is my little safety block. Okay, and what that does is that allows me to know where the blade's coming out. Okay, so I'm going to raise the blade up a little bit. And then when I go through, you see that blade right there? It's coming through. But by the time it gets through here, you've already cut through your wood back here. So you don't really need to go all the way through, but it's just kind of like a simple minded like trick that says, hey, the blade's coming, you know? And you keep your hands over here or you can keep them up here rather than grabbing in the center. This is kind of like a mental thought that tells you, hey, you know, don't go there. So you can go back and forth and so on. It slides pretty good. Nice and snug. Doesn't really have any wiggle in it. I mean, it's a, a smidge bit of wiggle, but like nothing that's going to change it. Okay, it slides completely even with there. That was the first one that I did. The second one I did, I decided to go ahead. I gotta find my blade. There it is. And make a double board here and a single board up at the front. And the reason I did that is because when I have the blade all the way up, in order to get through completely, I was coming out a little bit. So right here, if I'm on the inside, the blade isn't out, and the blade also isn't over here either. So I can go like this, and I'm not touching a blade, and I can go like this, and I'm not touching a blade. So that's another safety feature that I added. With this one, I also added a third leg for the track right here because I made it wider than the original one that I made. Okay, so, and how I did that is they have this extended arm on their saw that allows you to move it for longer wood. So I just went ahead and made it a little bit wider. You can go all the way through. And again, it's red. Because see how I just did that? That's like the first thing you want to do when you're using a table sled. And if you have your hand on just a single piece of wood, and you know, this isn't going to fit because it's not there, but I'm just turning it upside down because it's not on the track. But if you have your hand here and you're sliding it, look how close your finger is to that blade. Because that's like the go-to. You always grab the center. I don't know why. Or at least I do. Okay. So... That's a table sled that I did. So that way you can grab here and you can grab here. Personally, I grab here and I also clamp here. So, you know, in order to keep your finger safe, you could even just kind of use this as your guide point and just go straight up and down. Okay. And mine is pretty snug for the most part. I mean, it's never ever going to be perfect in here, but you know, it is pretty snug. I mean, it's not really wiggling, you know, side to side. Okay. Now, this is the one I have to lower the blade because I haven't cut through it yet. When you get it, you have to cut through it, apparently. Okay. This is the one I got from Micromark. Okay. It came with this little paper with the angles telling you some information about, you know, the right way and the wrong way of how to actually do your cuts. And then here are your little geometry angles. 
they're giving you a 45, 90, and a 30, 60. Okay, just very, very little. Back up so you can see a little bit. Okay, and they're plastic. They also give you a coarse piece of sandpaper. If I had to guess, I would say this was probably, um, well, actually it says it right there on the back. It says 120, and I was gonna say about 150, but okay, um, to do that. This is just my receipt. I ended up taking our invoice. I ended up paying, I think it was around $30 for this. Now, theirs is also made out of the eighth inch MDF. And then it looks like they have some board here that's thinner than the board that I have. It looks like they might have ripped it in two or had one custom made. As you can see, it is definitely a little bit thinner. Now I could make mine thinner, that wouldn't be a problem, but I like it thicker as I stated, because I don't like my fingers anywhere near the blade. I like my digits, so I wanna keep them, okay? So as you can see, it's pretty much the same thickness on the bottom, this part's a little bit thinner. And then as far as the track goes, you have both of them that fit right in here as well. However, one thing I did notice is theirs has a lot of play in it. Mine didn't have that, and I'm going to tell you why. When I did mine, I put my, well, I don't know why theirs is like this, but this is why I suspect. I put my track in here, and I left it where I wanted it to be. Then I took my table saw, and I sat it straight down on there, and I made sure it was even with this edge here. Like, see how theirs overhangs a little bit? Mine is even. So, while mine was there, and it was in the track... I weighed it down. So that way, when it dried, it's gonna dry directly in place. They probably have a jig that they make these on and um, it's all fine, it's, I mean, I guess it's okay. As long as you stay to one side, it'll work. Like you can just kind of push it to the left or right, but do you see how I keep grabbing that? That's, that's like where I wanna go. It's just like an instant. But also with this being a lot thinner and I'm not gonna cut through it right now, but you know, you're going to come up and you don't have much leadway in this saw at all. Like, none at all. You know, I'll go through and I'll make a little video tutorial how to cut through that and do that for you so you can see. But again, lots and lots of wiggle. lock my third leg in on this one I don't I have a little but not nowhere near like what they have and again that you can't you know get rid of it entirely you know but you can eliminate it for the most part and again I'll just show you theirs real quick even doing like the littlest bit it's like Now this is definitely much heavier. So anyway, this here part, this is the danger zone on any table sled, regardless of who you're buying it from or where you're getting it at, okay? Now they do have like a little caution sign, keep your fingers clear, you know, telling you, hey, don't go there, it's gonna get you. But um, I made these two this one I bought and I'll let you decide what you think is the better table sled now I do have a video tutorial on how to make this that I'm going to be posting if it isn't already up by now um, or by the time I post this video it will probably already be up but in the meantime um, you can order this off of micro marks website i want to say it was around 30 dollars. it took quite some time for it to get here because it was on back order i don't know if it was on back order because of all the stuff going on with the virus going around or if it's just sold out that often um but you can order it on there 
as far as these two go, I am actually working on a third model of the table sled that will stop and have a stop on it so that you do not even get anywhere near this, okay? So when I get that done, I'll decide which one I think is best and I'm gonna put it on my Etsy store and I'll leave the link below when I update the video and it's on there. So that's something to think about. You can also go to dollhousetutorials.com, follow it, or you can follow Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials on Facebook. And you can um, like and subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.